Yo, what it do, good people? You know, it's that time and when we just speak about books, books and nothing else but what? More books. Um, Today we're going to speak about a specific book, right? No, no, a documentary actually. It's not a book. We're going to talk about a documentary I was watching just today. And the documentary is called or titled, um, what is it called? I think Booksellers. Either book dealers or booksellers. But this is a group of people who actually collect antique books. But not only, you know, your normal antique book, you know, that, you know, but very, very antique. Books that date as far as 15, you know, the 1500s, the 1400s. You know what I'm saying? So uh, these are very old books, bruh. These are very, very old books. And there's also some unique things about these books. Some of these books are actually, you know, like I don't know. There was it was like they were they were printed for with with a purpose. You know, some of the books are scary. Like there are books that have you know I just learned today that there are books that were actually covered in actual human skin and actual human bones. You know, just so they can make the static more real. I don't know why, but it's there. You know, so yo, I would like to share with you 15 of the most expensive books and manuscripts ever sold. And these books date from as far as the 1400s, uh, and 1500s. Some of them are in the 1500s. So here goes the first book, uh, one of the most expensive. So this book is called. Um, let me quickly check. This book is called the Book of Mormon and it was first published in the 1800s. I think it's 1830. And this book costs $35 million in a private sale. Sometime. It was bought actually, it was sold uh, in 2017. So somebody bought this book for $38 million. You can, you can maybe perhaps you know, try to, you know, convert $38 million to rands. <laughs> bro, with $38 million, bro, I, I don't... <laughs> Woo! Let's go, let's go. Uh, the second book is called The Codex Leicester, right? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, it's called The Codex Leicester, and it was first published in the 1500s. Uh, 1506 to 1510 that's like the first edition and this book sold for 30.8 million dollars and this is the book this is the only book i know you know i know the history of uh this book was actually purchased by bill gates in 1994 i think right now it's cost about 58 million dollars if i'm not wrong but you can do your own research you know um so this book was actually written by the, the famous scientist and artist Leonardo uh, uh, da Vinci. And that's why it costs so much, I think. <laughs> uh, the other book that was published around the 13th century is called The Magna Carta. And this book was sold for $21 million. You know, Lebrachania. So it's twenty one million one hundred and thirty two. I think it's twenty one million three hundred and twenty one thousand, and it was, uh, it was sold around two thousand seven. So, yeah, that's like about fifteen years ago. Or so, um, another book that sold was called the North um no, no the North Umberland Bastiary. Uh, it was actually published sometimes around 1250 to 1260. Uh, and it was sold at an estimated $20 million in a private sale, also around 2007. So this is also a very expensive book. $20 million is enough to take care of me for the rest of my life in South Africa. I wouldn't need to work a day again in my life. If I had $20 million, I would be the happiest human being alive. As long as nobody else knows. 
<laughs> but let's continue, bruh. Um, the, another book is called The Rothschild's Prayer Book. The Rothschild's Prayer Book was published sometimes around 15,000 BC, uh, uh, the 15,000, uh, no, the 1500s. Yeah, it was published around the 1500s. And this book was sold at $18 million at Christie's. Sometimes around January 2014, one of the most recent sales, you know. Um, uh, let's continue. So another one was uh, a book called St. Cuthbert Gospel, right? It was published in the 7th uh, century. And this book was sold for 14, uh, $14,300,000 around april 2012 so i was probably you know appreciated and it's probably 20 million right now if you add taxes and whatnot and the inflation rates uh another book is called the bay sound the bay sound book and it was published in 1650 and this book was sold for 14 million as well and it was the last time it was sold was in 2013 Somebody bought that for fourteen million. These books are sold at auctions, man. People bid for these books, and these are just a group of people with a lot of money. <laughs> so the John J. Audubon, The Birds of America, which was published in eighteen twenty-seven, uh, this book was sold at nine point six million dollars, and this book was sold in twenty eighteen. In June 2018. So this is another expensive book. That was sold just recently. 2018 is just about like. What is it? Six years, five years ago. Um, so it's a very recent sale. And who knows. Somebody else might just buy it. There might be a rich book lover out there. Who's looking for it. Um, another book. Is the complete Babylonian Talmud, which was printed by Daniel Bombeck, uh sometime around the 1500s, and so this book was sold for 9.3 million dollars at Salt Base, and this was just in 2015. Uh, so, yeah, this is an old book. It's very expensive. Give me that thing. Um, another book was called the Quran Fragment and it was published in the 7th century and this book was sold for 4.9 million dollars at Christie's around you know 2008 and so another book is called the Geoffrey Shoker and the Canterbury Tales uh, you know, it's. I mean, I think Jeffrey Jeffrey Coker is the is the is the author, and it, the book is called The Canterbury Tales, and it was first published in the the fourteen hundreds, and this book is worth seven point five million dollars, and it was last sold or bought in nineteen ninety eight July. Uh, another book is called. Histori di Mavi, I think, by Guacamo Casanova. And it was first published in 1820. And it sold, it was sold for $9 million in a private sale somewhere, somewhere around, you know, February 2010. Um, another book is William Shakespeare's Comedies histories and tragedies published according to the true original copies which was first published in 1623 and this book was sold for nine million basically it was ten million dollars because and this book was last sold in october 2020 so that's the most recent sale i've read so far so it's 2020 that's like three years back so somebody decided to Pay ten million dollars for a book, for an old book. 
Well, you know, you don't want to offend those people. Don't they? It's not just the book, you know. <laughs> and then there's the Glattenberg Bible, which dates back to 14, you know, to the 1400s. And this book was sold for $4.9 million. Sometimes, sometimes around nine, uh, 1987. So somebody paid $4.9 million dollars in 1987 you can just imagine how much this book is worth in 2023 i'm not about to i'm not about to find out um another book is called the cosmographia and it was last public it was first published around you know the 1400s and this book was sold for four million dollars around you know 2006 i think those are the, the yeah that's it so yes ladies and gentlemen these are the most expensive books in the world you know what i'm saying and that was really fascinating for me i was really fascinated by this world you know this culture that people have started the documentary is very interesting it shows you know, just, you know, the book culture and just the love of books, you know. I thought I loved books, but now I realize that I'm just, I'm just a reader. I'm not really, you know, the, the, the type of reader that these people are. <laughs> so there you have it. 15 most expensive books. Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love.